Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time to talk about this crap again. Uh, Kevin Smith's Netflix He-Man season two got a first look. We're going to talk about it because somebody has to, because there is not a lot of chatter about there this. There really isn't, but I'm getting crap over on Twitter because I said, you know, it's too early to tell them maybe they learned a lesson and people are like, oh my God. Well, maybe they did. Like, look, I'm never going to say never because look what happened with Picard season three. Uh, look at what happened with One Piece on Netflix compared to Cowboy Bebop. I mean, sometimes studios learn a lesson, well, but... Even with uh, uh, Revelation, I think that the, they changed the ending. I think they did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no so, doubt. So, I mean, and, and again, I want to point out, I think this show was greenlit when they did Revelation because they didn't even announce they were doing Revolution until well, well after they were into it pretty far, which says to me that it was greenlit before, and that's what we had heard anyway. Yeah, I think that, you know, they had to commit to so many episodes, um... You know, but I, I'm with you with um, with uh, Revelation, the first season. I think that they they clearly pivoted away from what they were originally planning to do because you could tell in the first season there were some things being set up specifically with Andra. I think Andra and Tila they were setting them up to be a, Grace freaking Randolph was even like they're clearly setting them up to be a couple, and then they just kind of like oh yeah we're just like, oh by friends. the way you know she's back to normal and she's with, yeah, you know, she's with Adam, 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 Adam again yeah 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 you know, yeah. yeah yeah so uh -huh. anyway. So let's talk about this. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Get woohoo! Woohoo! Get a woohoo! Uh, woo not a lot, of, not a lot of woohoos from fans of Masters no, of the Universe. I didn't even know it was a trailer until it was on it was on Twitter. I didn't even see it on YouTube. Nobody's really talking about it. So yeah, that's the thing. This this has been out. This is on the official Netflix YouTube channel, right? Twenty seven million people. Twenty seven million people. Uh, and it's been out for over a day now. It's only got 180,000 views. Uh, I can't find much on it by itself. All I'm seeing are stories about them dropping a whole bunch of animation on right, Netflix. Right, they're not even really making it a point. They're, they're focused more on like Castlevania and Scott Pilgrim and Scott stuff Pilgrim like that. Scott Pilgrim and Castlevania, yeah. And Tomb Raider. Time. And Tomb Raider. But they kind of bury, like in the Verge article here, they're like, they're going on and on about, oh, Castlevania looks awesome. And oh yeah, He-Man's coming. And, but Scott Pilgrim looks awesome. Yeah. And, I mean, people, I don't think anybody cares. Nobody I mean, cares. You have some people who liked it and they're happy about it. But most people are just like, eh. A lot of people were like, I, I saw it when they put it on the Netflix uh, thing on, on Twitter. People were like, is this what it's going to be about He-Man? You know? And they yeah. were like, they were calling him out right away. Yeah. Now, uh, those who missed it for whatever reason, what happened last time was <laughs> we had somebody can't come to us that we trust and we know would would be around these people to know, said that they had the script, they saw the show, that the first episode, you know, they basically sideline He-Man and it's a Tila show and all the other stuff, which we said, uh, not even on, on a YouTube video, it was on Twitter. And then Kevin Smith had a shit fit. Apparently it was the other Kevin Smith that time. Oh, it was the other one? The other guy. Yeah. And um, he had a hissy, and, th and then next thing you know, we're getting like called out by him, and then all these other outlets are like, ha, 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 Clownfish TV. And turned out we were right. Everything we said was, I, I remember, like, there was a couple YouTubers, I think Yellow Flash and Tug. Yellow Flash and Tug, I think. Um, they actually, went to that when, when yeah. that happened, they they said, they said, hey, they're getting dogpiled. Other people didn't say anything. And then um, they, then when the trailer came out, there it was, was all there He Man. They're like, oh my God, it's amazing. Oh my God, it's amazing. Clownfish and, got it wrong because look, like, it's no, all He Man. This is the first episode. This is all the first, the first episode, episode. Which it was. It was. And then they're like, shit, this sucks. Clownfish TV is right. And it's like, yeah, we told you. Now we don't have insight into the next. Hell show, no. Other than the fact that, you know, I'm, I I know that after the first round of revelation, that you know I think that there were some meetings. I think that they're going to try to do better. Will they do better? Can't say. Too early to tell you. But I do think they're going to try to try to do better because they pissed so many people off last time. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I like. Look, I mean, I think. The last, the last show, I, the, I definitely think there were meetings. I think that the backlash wouldn't have been objectively. I don't think the backlash would have been as severe if they had set the expectations. If they said, yeah. look, this is Masters of the Universe, the death of He-Man, and it's about how the other Masters deal with the death of He-Man. Yes. 
then you know, oh, He-Man's going to die, and it's going to be about the other masters of the well, universe. Well, then you okay. Kevin Smith and Sarah Michelle Gellar out there, like, you know, antagonizing fans and being assholes. And then Kevin yeah. Smith's like, you know, I was a big fan, and he turned out, he, he other clips, he said he never watched it. Right. You know, meanwhile, Scott Pilgrim has 681,000 views of the Netflix thing in a day. Yeah, and has been Hotel, which is on Vizzy Pop's channel, has like 700,000. That was just a couple hours ago they put right. that up. It's a few hours ago, yes. Uh, uh, nobody cares about and this. And then when you see the comments, half of them are going to hear people like, you know, is He-Man going to be in it? Yeah, so nice of them to dedicate the trailer to a side character. Um, I'm guessing 95% of the screen time He-Man gets this season is in, is the, in, trailer. The, is in the trailer. Uh, I love the part where He-Man, Skeletor, Tila, and all of Eternia sing this song, Out of the Sea, Wish I Could Be Part of That World. Yeah, I mean, look, people are screen. allowed... Um, I love He-Man. I hope it's better than the last series. People are allowed to like it. They're, not, they're allowed to not like it, contrary to what Twitter says. And a lot of people didn't like it. And, I mean... It wasn't that good. The animation was pretty. I mean, it was pretty to look at. I'm the not going to say it wasn't. The character designs were good for the, the most part. The toys got, were good, too. I've got some of the figures. Yeah. You know? No, they were good. I, I think the art is amazing. Love it. Um, I think you had some quasi-good voice actors and among some bad ones. And I think that there could have been, there had potential, but yet you know, some of the story choices were really stupid. And like you said, expectations should have been set. Oh, I love this one. I love the part where Tila, Andra, and Evil Lynn are going to twerk like She-Hulk going against the patriarch. There you go. They probably get more views that way. Uh, I, I, like, look, I mean, yeah, they're saying, okay, this is, He-Man's going to totally be in this one, guys. Honest. He-Man, He-Man, He-Man. Look, that, look at the amount of likes for these comments, too. One yes. minute and 28 seconds of He-Man and 20 hours of Tila. Yes. And I mean, people think, well, Tila was always important. Tila was always important. But Tila, you made Tila, uh, not only did you make Silent he for Tila, but you made her an unlikable bitch. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think this one is also going to be the Tila and Evil Lynn show, simply because it looks like Evil Lynn is going to be the big bad of the season. Yeah, they're bringing the horde into it, but they already had the action figure, uh, which is what, Motherboard, which looks like Evil Lynn. And I'm wondering, since there are a lot of similarities between the, uh, the other CG, he -Man, or the CG He-Man show, the other show, uh, the kids show that they canceled that I actually liked. And this one, because they have the same guy at Mattel that's kind of, you know, given passing the notes to Kevin Smith. I wonder if they're also going to make Evil Lynn Hordak's daughter in this one. And then she becomes like motherboard or some shit. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, like, I guess on Twitter I had said, you know, um, I thought the scene with the He-Man and his dad seemed a little more like the old show and where they were joking. And I was like, I'm hoping they learn lessons. Now, do I think that they did? And I believe that 100%. Uh, yet to be seen. I think that, you know, they effed up with Cowboy Bebop and they came back with One Piece. So I think they're starting to realize. But, you know, we don't know yet what they're going to do. I and mean, Kevin Smith's still running it, so who the hell knows? I mean... He keeps having mental breakdowns all the time. I don't know what we're going to get. <laughs> I don't Just know. I mean, me... I 100 percent agree. I mean, they tried to blow it off as, you know, the, when the backlash uh, occurred. And it's not all our fault. You did that yourself. You bro. did that to yourself. You, you totally lied. Did. You and lied, you lied and then you double lied. Like you lied and then you lied about the lie. You've just been honest. Again, if you set the expectation, if it were me, I'd be like, okay, uh, I am the brand manager at Mattel. And this guy from Hollywood came in and just fucking killed He-Man off in the first episode of the show. Uh, being the brand manager of Masters of the Universe at Mattel, I know this is not going to play well mm -mm. to fans. So how do we spin? Oh, let's set the expectation. This is the death of He-Man arc. Oh, mm -hmm. my God, guys. The death People of He-Man. They'd have been like, oh, my God. What do you mean death of He-Man? Yeah, like, whoa, they're going to kill him. Holy hell. I got to watch this. They're going to. Yeah, you know. That that actually could have worked to your benefit, but then mm -hmm. keeping that a secret and lying about it, and then making and then maybe not make Tila an, an, an insufferable bitch. Yeah, not making her an insufferable. It's always bitch. about her. Um, she's she's completely unlikable, and she's too damn selfish to be the sorceress. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. sorceress mm -hmm. gave up everything. Yeah, she's she's a, a, a self absorbed prick. Uh, she is. She's got a bigger dick than Adam. But she's, no one has a bigger dick as Skeletor. I mean, nothing. You have to power it down, man. Oh, right. I can't believe they went like, there. I like, can't believe they went like there the in that show. Movie, the first scary movie. <laughs> you don't power oh, down. God, Shoot evil lens. Evil lens plastered <laughs> to the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> that you know, the battle You'll armor. never get the stains out, Lenny. It's, it's battle armor Skeletor. And you know how the, the slime pit and stuff? Oh. This one has like projectile action. No! That is not the slime pit. 
<laughs> God, I could have. I should have made that joke. <laughs> yeah, it's time for the slime pit, Lenny. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. I just, I mean, I can't believe they went there. Can you believe? I, I'm still. I just like. I just. I think I blocked it out of my my brain. Well, like, very yes, they had but jokes sex about in his own dick. So yes, I mean, I'm not surprised. In the toy based cartoon show, trying to win back the fans, they had sex sex jokes. Well, yeah, because, sex because, jokes because, with know, Skeletor. Well, well, those guys that grew up on the show, they're they're gonna want sex jokes. Cause am I right? Cause dick. Oh <laughs> yeah. Dicks are funny. Yeah. These guys aren't getting any, so we're gonna we're gonna make dick jokes. I hear once upon a time Kevin Smith had one. I don't think so now. He went vegan and it fell off. Probably. That's what happened. But anyway, I mean Stop eating. Is meat. it possible they learned a lesson? Which and I think it is possible. Given that we've seen with um like I said, Cowboy Bebop to One Piece and some other other changes they've one made. One piece. You know, lately. Is it likely? As long as Kevin Smith's there, I doubt it. If if they change showrunners and they said, look, we're gonna we're gonna do a soft, they call it a soft reboot. And that's what they do with Picard. That's what happens to Skeletor powers he down. Powers down. If they had somebody else come in and you know say, hey, yeah, this is a sequel to Revelation, but we're kind of gonna take things in a different direction, I would have more hope for it. And if they use that animation, the the cast of whatever, but they actually had somebody that didn't actively seem to hate the show mm-hmm. in oh, charge. No, he was a big fan. In one breath, and then he never saw. I used it to run home from school to watch it when I was seventeen years old. Yeah, like, bullshit. Yeah, okay. And then you're on another clip saying that you know, well, they're allowed to like it, but I never, I never liked it either. But you know, whatever. It's like dumbass. You know, but I, I mean, look, I am always an optimist. I always. That is that is the biggest problem. That is my problem. The you, reason I get so angry, I get so passionate about stuff, is because I always, I always have hope. I always have this little bit of hope that some, that they're not going to mess it up. And if I just hold that hope long enough, they're not going to fuck up the show. No. I keep, I keep having that hope, which is partly my fault. But I'm always going to have that because that's who I am. Neon gave up hope a long time ago. So, look, here's the thing. Like, I don't want to be all like, you know... Uh, Princess Leia, we still have hope. Debbie Downer about. I mean, here's the thing. Like, I, I am. It is depressing. I gotta tell you, it is depressing. I put a, I put a, a, a poll up on Twitter a couple months ago, and I said, you know, if Hollywood actually starts to fix things, would you come back? Because you start to see little bits here and there. When you've got the right people in charge of the show, again, look at what happened with Picard season three. As bad as it is, they somehow managed to take the scraps of whatever was left of it and make it work. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, you can turn it around. It's happened in a couple of cases. And I'm like, you know, do you give them another chance if they're willing to see the error of their ways and be like, look, yeah, this is an existing franchise. We have certain expectations for that franchise. Let's try to, to win the fans back or, or you just want to watch it burn. And I was very disheartened because the vast majority of people at this point just want to watch it all burn. Yeah. Down. That's the thing. I, I actually want them to do better and I want things to be saved. And I want, I want to see good things. There's good in him. I always it believe there's good be. in him. That's the problem. <laughs> she's been trying to find, though. he's just full of shit. Uh, she's been trying to find the good in me for a long time now. Now yeah, I know. I'll my, find it eventually. No, <laughs> she realizes my heart is black and hardened. It's not true. It's impossible. I turned to the dark side a long time ago. Anyway. Um, no, actually, I, I got to tell you, I actually held off on, you know, going back to Picard. Um, it took me, what, like six or seven weeks. Everybody's like hounding me like, Neon, you got to watch Picard. It's so good. You got to watch Picard. I actually rage quit Picard two episodes in. Well, I didn't rage quit it. I decided I wasn't going to watch anymore two episodes in because I'm like, I know this show is going to make me angry. This does not, this mm-hmm. is not next gen. Next gen is one of my top five favorite shows ever alongside Batman, the animated series and Northern exposure and some other, some other ones. I really got to think about like what order they're in, but next gen's definitely up there. Right. And yes. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see this desecrated. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm good. The movies, the last movie, Nemesis, was bad enough. <laughs> you know, I don't need to see them, like, drag the corpse of of uh, Next Gen around. And so I noped out. And I didn't watch any of season two. I heard horrible things about it. Like, yep, yeah, it just it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. And I don't want to see that. And along comes season three. And uh, they basically fixed everything. And I was like, holy. Yeah, I know. And you were really excited about it. You I was like... actually excited for the first time. For the first time in forever. No, for... your heart is black and you have no excitement in anything. For the first time in a long time, I actually was like counting down the days to watch a show. 
And that has only happened a couple of times in recent memory. I used to, it used to be me with Dr. Who, like ever, you know, doctor, I had to watch every episode of Dr. Who every week. Like I had to watch Dr. Who. Um, and then they just, they, they burned all that goodwill. And, uh, now they're, now they're teasing me with David Tennant again. No, oh, I know. I, I, that, that, that looks really good. The one with him and, uh, um, Dr. Donna, Donna Noble. Yeah. That one I want, I want to see, but I know they're going to ruin it. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel. It's like, I want it to be good. And then my heart of hearts, I'm hoping like, I just want it to be good and I want it to be fun and I want it to be, you know, at least some semblance of what it was. And then I always get, that's why I get so mad and I yell. Cause it's like, cause it's like, like heart gets broken every time, but I'm, I'm too stubborn to, to, to be hard hearted. I wanted this to be good. I actually, when they announced it. I mean, the, the art's beautiful. I was it like, looks like he's got a big green dick, but it's beautiful. It's his kneecap, but. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> is that your knee? Or are you just really happy to see me? It's my kneecap, baby. Um, yeah, so I was excited about this. We were actually, cheer, you know, cheerleaders for this one when it was announced. And uh, I even gave the CGI he-man a chance and I had no expectations going in and I liked it. I actually liked it. I mean, but again, the expectation was set. The CGI He-Man show was obviously for younger audiences, uh, but somehow it was still smarter than mm-hmm. Revelation. Well, Kevin Smith. I mean. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> but in the art, smart in a while. Right. The art style was very different and it, a lot of characters were changed, but they said fly out. This is a complete reimagining. So the expectation going in was, yeah, this is going to be very different, you know, and I get that. Now, again, th- this was the expectation. Oh, we're going to continue the filmation He-Man series. Yeah, it's going to be about He-Man. I swear, bro. It's all about He-Man. Yeah. Everything's about He-Man. But it's not. No, it's about him fucking dying. Yeah, and then, well, then Skeletor trying to fuck. But that's another story entirely. And Skeletor because, fucking. Because, you know, that's what men want. They want women to come in and be unlikable and take over and tell you and and, and ruin the show. And then, But it's okay because Skeletor's, Skeletor's got a battle boner. He's going to get some. That's okay. She would have me too them eventually. I'm sure she would have. She, would, she used sex to get what she wants, and then she's you know, toss them aside. She did. She you know. Are we done? Aside. We're done. We're done. We're done. I think fans are done with this. I I that's, that's my takeaway: is no one's talking about it. Nobody's Except for talking like, about it. In the comments, which are most of me are mocking it, and on Netflix or on on uh, Twitter, most of the comments were mocking it. Yeah. And the me and the news outlets, they're not talking about it. Like nope. they're stepping over and talking about all the other shows. I mean, hell, they're even talking more about the new Coco Melon Lane and a stupid show, like kids shows. Yeah, um, that are made to sell toys, including this one that's uh, Mighty Monster Wheelies with Universal Monsters meet and their half car. Yeah, so this is this is just kind of like a vestigial leftover from what I think. Uh, Netflix was was greenlighting because I think going forward it's gonna be all of the kid shows because they can sell toys. Yeah, you know Castlevania. I think that's another one where they've had greenlit for a while. Yeah, so. um, that was announced a long time ago. But yeah, I think I think now they're just gonna look at they're gonna be like we gotta sell toys. Uh, he Man doesn't sell toys to kids anymore. It sells toys to adults, and they're pissing those adults off, so they're not gonna sell those toys either. They pissed this adult off a couple times. Yeah. So I don't know, guys. Good luck with all that. I don't care. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm hoping they truly don't care. I truly hope they did. And it is possible. It's very possible. I, Do I think it's going to be the case? No, I don't think it's going to be the case. But it is possible. And until we see, I see more, I can't really say. I really can't until I see more. I yeah. didn't hate this when I saw this. The, the, the minute and a half yeah, but, but, of but, He-Man? But I've been down this road. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought the animation looked amazing. Well, that's a, <laughs> that was a look. You had it on his loincloth. It's like his crotch is in our face. Oh, there's a fly. It's in dicko vision. That's a fly. That's not his dick. That's a thigh. I didn't say, okay. I know, I know. Let's wrap this up. I don't have it. I, I really don't have it. Like, people want me to get, like, all like, oh, aren't you going to bash Kevin Smith? It's like, I don't care about Kevin Smith. He's having mental problems. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about this show. This is what happens. This is the worst. Yeah, I ca- care. He doesn't. That's the thing. This is the worst case scenario. When when something that you loved for years and something that you supported for years and something uh, there's a franchise out there that you were a, a massive cheerleader for is so repugnant to you at this point that you are just completely apathetic to it. Like you don't care anymore. That's that the same. I feel the same way about Star Wars now. Mm-hmm. Um 
it's like I loved it so much and now I don't care. Doctor Who, same thing. Like normally I'd be like, okay, I was kind of like cautiously optimistic. I'm like, well, we might get at least one good episode of Doctor Who, but I'm like, I know there it's going to be a bait and switch. I'm sure it is. You know, absolutely it's going to be a bait and switch. So this one is too. I guarantee it. Unless they learned a lesson. We'll see. We'll see. But I don't think they're smart enough to. But even if they did learn a lesson, the question is, is anybody going to care? Because they already no. did so much damage and they no. already, and it's like, we still have never got apologized to, so whatever. Oh, that is never going to happen. No. That is never going to happen. So let's wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.